May 4th, a Spanish painter sits at a gradwood table. His tired hands hold on to his stressed face. See, he's waiting for the memories of May 3rd to reemerge in his mind. Because on that day, he witnessed a man covering his face with his hands, not for memories to resurface, but for the present moment to come to an end. May 4th, the Spanish painter sits and stares at a white paper. He feels like this paper is talking, yelling, screaming to be drawn upon. May 3rd, a man dressed in all white puts his hands up to a black polluted sky. See, he is actually being drawn upon by five individuals with long firearms. And they might as well be loaded with nails, because what comes next is a 19th century crucifixion. May 4th, a painter sits with his shoes off. His toes are nuzzled into a carpet that's color is... Red. May 3rd, a group of men are covered in their comrades' blood. It's on their knees from crouching. It's also nuzzled in their toes. See, little do they know is this is the last seconds of their life, and the last thing they will see is the color of their knees and toes. Red. May 4th, a Spanish painter keeps on drawing on a concept he believes is a sickness that will devour and destroy humanity. He feels it's his responsibility to portray the effects of this disease, murder, rape, pain, torture, and most importantly, the destruction of the human spirit. See, in four years, this painter creates 84 images of this wickedness. For me, it only takes looking at one to see absolute truth. No lying. Just a man tied in ignorant rope. He asks God, why is he dying? There is no replying. Just dreadful... Silence. But paintings echo and scream sound waves. And just in case you can't hear it, I just put it in words. Do you see what I'm painting or do I have to say more? Francisco Goya, The Disasters of War.